Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Puchkai, and I'm here with my surgical oncology colleagues, Dr. Nabil Wasif and Dr. Rick Ray. We're here today to talk to you about the treatment of malignant melanoma. We here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona believe in a multidisciplinary approach to the treatment of malignant melanoma. This has had been one of our focuses for many years. From a surgical perspective, I think we have actually advanced the treatment of malignant melanoma significantly. We take newly diagnosed malignant melanoma patients and actually are able to do a nice surgery and find their sentinel lymph nodes using specialized techniques, which include a SPEC CT. These techniques allow us to find the lymph node without any difficulty. And we have shown that we have a very low false negative rate, meaning that we don't miss a lymph node if it's there. And those patients who have a positive lymph node were able to find it in order to better guide them on their treatment after their diagnosis. Not only do we have these specialized surgical techniques, but we have others. Dr. Rick Ray will talk to us about limb perfusion. Yes, limb perfusion is an important option for melanoma patients. It's only a subset of patients that would need this option. For some patients with melanoma, they have a recurrence of their disease that affects much of the skin of their arm or leg. While the disease has not spread elsewhere in their body, the amount of disease on their arm or leg is too much to remove surgically. Unfortunately, many of the chemotherapy and other types of options aren't as effective in this setting. So what we're able to offer is a specialized technique where the person's arm or leg during the course of an operation is put on a bypass machine. That bypass machine then has a special chemotherapy introduced into it so that very high doses of that chemotherapy can affect just that arm or just that leg where the melanoma is. At the same time, the patient's body otherwise is isolated from this treatment so that there are not toxic side effects from those high doses of chemotherapy. It's a very effective option for these patients, provides good results with low rates of complications. And importantly, in many patients, it's an option that allows them to save their arm or save their leg from amputation. Thank you. This is a very important technique for a large percentage of patients. In certain patients, though, this technique either fails or that that is not the right patient to undergo limb perfusion. We have other techniques to help patients who have these multiple spots of melanoma on either an arm, leg, or even head and neck. Dr. Wasif, would you like to tell us about some of the other options? Uh, absolutely, Dr. Pachkaya. As you heard from both Dr. Gray and Dr. Pachkaya, melanoma can be a sneaky disease. It's one of those cancers that can come back after many years, and it can come back in many different forms. So you have to be creative in how you tackle uh, this cancer. Besides limb perfusion, uh, there are other techniques we can use, which involve finding the spot where the melanoma has come back and injecting various substances to counter the tumor recurrence right at that area. There's a whole variety of stuff we can inject, and it includes something called IL-2, uh, which stimulates the immune system to something that is a personal favorite of mine. It's called BCG. In third world countries, it, it's actually used as a vaccine against tuberculosis. And we found that it also has some activity against melanoma. And it's actually quite effective. It's a kind of therapy that's offered maybe perhaps in a handful of centers across the country. But we do have that here. Uh, for us, it's a very exciting time for melanoma because besides this kind of therapy, there are drugs now that are coming out that are effective against melanoma. We never really had good drugs against this disease in the past. And if you read the news, you may hear of things like CTLA-4 inhibitors and BRAF inhibitors. And keep, uh, keep, keep watching this space because I think there's going to be a lot of progress with melanoma in the near future. Thank you, Dr. Wasif. And I would just say that along with our medical oncology colleagues, we do have a number of clinical trials to offer to our melanoma patients. We also offer some of these specialized immune therapies here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona, including high-dose IL-2 therapy, which is something that certain patients qualify for and may work and may sometimes give prolonged survival in patients who have metastatic disease. So if you want to find any more information regarding this uh, disease and what we have to offer here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona, please see our website.